conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come on. Let's send them a hand. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review the role-playing game Greedfall. Developed by Spiders and released by Focus Home Interactive, this action RPG is set in a fantasy fictional setting with magic and monsters. The developer Spiders uses a modified version of Sony's Fear Engine named the Silk Engine that adds more features than originally released. Spiders, who are derived from a mixed developers of other RPG games, has made a genre their specialty, with games like Of Orcs and Men, Technomancer, and Bound by Flame, the RPGs always gave an alternative look to fantasy RPGs that seemed to be reminded of Bioware's games with less polish. Budget being a huge part of the studio, I'm always amazed to see what they're able to produce without the backing of something much larger. Looking at Greedfall, I'm once again surprised on what they are able to accomplish with a modified dated engine from Sony's PlayStation 3 era. The game itself is visually impressive and the overall quality can be very visually stunning at times. The one con on visuals is that I just wish that the textures of some of the main characters and the NPCs could be more detailed when viewed up close, especially with how much storytelling there is in the game. The design of the world itself is vast. When you start the game, it is dark and gritty, but soon becomes vibrant with colors with impressive lighting. When you travel, the land is large enough that fast travel is a necessity as you get further into the game, and backtracking can take some time if you want to view all the scenery. The story itself reminds me a lot of the expansion of England to cultivate a new land of promise which becomes America, but with magic and monsters. Your job as a noble of the congregation is to make sure that everyone in the newly settled island gets along and, and you are also ensuring that the peace is there. Along the way, you will meet many different characters for your main campaign all the way to the side quests to help in your reputation as you may need them later. How you conduct yourself is how your companions and the people view you as well. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Well, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. The writing and voice acting is great with no issues and does make the storytelling that much more interactive and fun. The progression is very detailed as you level up your character in different categories to complete your desire, in my case, hack and slash gun wielding warrior. Others can and may focus on magical properties. The game itself has come a long way pushing their silk engine without compromising optimization and performance. The game runs at a smooth 30 frames per second on consoles and much higher on PC. Either way you play it, it doesn't change, as Spires did an excellent job optimizing the game itself. The sound and music is something that shocked me with very original music that truly fits in many of the scenarios and events, bringing you more and more into the lore of the setting that you're dealing with. Combat is your average RPG fanfare with quick buttons for magic, gunfare, and potions. Overall, very easy to jump into as you can attack and counter with ease. Sword play is different and does get some getting used to with some awkward moments, 
but not hard to conquer. My only con is that with some side quests or even the main quests are a lot, and I mean a lot, of backtracking. Get me this, do that more, do this for me too, which can be very tedious where you rather move on to the main storyline. You do, however, feel a sense of completion when it's done, but getting there may take some patience, especially when you need to wait in game days to get to the action. Overall, Greedfall gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its wonderful visual take on a new fantasy land to explore and conquer. Original storyline with great voice and sound keep you gripped to the screen, but lack of pacing and tedious missions remind you that the game could do without a few or to incorporate them into the main missions. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like or subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods, your demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You're mad.